This is a quick and dirty explanation of the consistent wall clip setup, or rail clip setup, or whatever you want to call it, that I, I worked on tonight. Uh, there's a lot that I could explain for it, but I don't want to ramble on too long about it. But there is one thing that I do need to explain uh, regarding some uh, terminology that I'll use in describing the inputs for this. A lot of this is going to involve single frame presses, like pressing down for exactly one frame at 30 FPS. It's 30 FPS, so that isn't too unreasonable, but a bunch of my presses are still two frames. I'm, I'm not good at this. So even though this is consistent, this may still take me a few tries just because of that. And that's also why I want to find a better setup than this, because the one I currently have involves eight single frame presses in a row. And that's hard. Uh, another uh, thing that I'm doing is pause buffering, as in I pause the game, start holding a direction, as in right now I'm holding down, and then I unpause the game with triangle and repause with start. That was actually a zero frame pause buffer. Pac-Man has not moved yet. I can tell that it's zero frames because the arm on the left is lower than the arm on the right. Uh, this would be a one frame pause buffer, I'm just going by Pac-Man's animation. I can tell it's one frame because the arms are about level. Uh, this is two frames. Two frames and three frames look very, very similar, but I can tell this is two frames because of... Uh, Pac-Man's tongue kind of curves up into the left. And then three frames again looks very, very similar to two, except Pac-Man's tongue is kind of flat overall. It's just like a V-shape. Uh, so yeah, those are the important things to know. To set up for this, uh, walk into the wall and clip in it a little bit like you normally do, and start doing one frame down presses. If you do this long enough, and it doesn't take very long, I'm already there, you end up in a cycle between two points that you're just moving back and forth between. You might think that you're moving, like, within a small area, but that's actually two precise points that you're, you're bouncing back and forth between. But again, you need to be doing single frame down presses to, to end up there. If you're doing more than one frame for each press, you I don't know where you'll end up. <laughs> Could be anywhere. So anyway, between these two points, you want to be on the point on the right and do a single frame pause buffer. Uh, yep, close the menu with triangle. If you close the menu by jumping... Uh, like if you have jump bound to X and you close the menu with X, you'll actually end up in a different position, so close the menu with triangle or start. Then, from here, you want to do a two-frame pause, and you actually need to land on two or on three. There we go, this was two, you can tell, again, because the tongue is curved up. Uh, if you go too far and you end up on three, there's a backup that I will describe. If you don't go far enough, if you only do one frame, you actually need to try again. Like, try the whole setup again. Pausing the game messes with your momentum, so you can't just pause buffer through walk frames to get where you want, sadly. Um, you need to land on frame two or three. Anyway, so this is frame two. I'm going to press, again, triangle to close the menu, and then I need to do eight down... eight single frame down presses in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I should just hold down and it'll work. Yep. Um, if you want the frame data, it's you hold down for two frames at that point and you should clip out. Uh, what else? Okay, so if you end up at the third frame of the animation, instead of the second. I'll try to get there again. I'll see if I can... if I can just manage to do that. Let's see. So I'll end up cycling between two points. I think I'm already there. Um, single frame pause buffer. That was two frames. That was too much. I gotta try again. Again, there's a, a bunch of precision to this still, which is why I want to make a better setup. Okay, single frame pause buffer. That was it. Triangle to leave. Two... No, I want to try for three frames this time. That looks like three. The tongue is pretty curved up, but I definitely waited longer than two. I'm pretty sure this is three. 
So if you end up on three frames, you need to do something else. Um, you need to do a jump interrupt. Like I said, if you jump out of the pause menu, you end up at a different position. We actually want to do that here. So if you have jump bound to X, you can just press X to leave the menu. I have jump bound to R1 right now, so I'm holding R1 and I press triangle. Then we want to do five more single frame jump interrupts in a row. So that's a zero, that's one frame. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then we want to do five more single frame down presses. That might have been two frames. <laughs> Let's say it's one. Two, three, four, five, and assuming I was right about all of the numbers, which I don't think I was, uh, but if you were in fact on the third frame of the animation, and I didn't accidentally hit down for two frames earlier, I should be able to hold down and clip through now. Oh, it worked! I was totally right about all of that, let's go! I'm still very bad at identifying two frames versus three frame pause buffers. It's it's hard. It's you know, this is a new thing to look at. It's it's hard to figure out. That's three frames. The tongue's pretty flat there. Anyway, I will now that I've explained all of this, I'll also just throw in the description uh what the actual series of inputs are so that you can not need to listen to my rambling for a long time. I'm just gonna cut this off. This is too long as it is. <laughs>